y'all hey it's your girl merles here welcome back to another episode of the beauty biz bestie i want to thank you all for coming back i appreciate each and every one of you guys coming back for another episode and just sticking beside me being here to get some you know free biz info let's get into it today i wanted to come on and talk to you guys about something that's very important and it's near and dear to my heart and it is about our health as beauty professionals, right? Um, first, our mental health and our physical health and how to avoid the burnout feeling while we, you know, begin our business and start our endeavors. And even if you're midway through or like, you know, you're successful, this applies to any and anybody in whatever part of your business journey you are in. Let's talk about what it takes to successfully thrive in your business. Um, you are everything, right? You wear many hats. You are many puzzle pieces. Um, hopefully you get to a place where you can outsource and hire people to do certain tasks that you don't need to necessarily do so that you can spend more time doing what you love. So when it comes to physical health, I am a big advocate of health in general, healthy anything, um, whether it's healthy, you know, nails, natural nails, nail application, healthy hair, um, as I try to be as natural uh, and holistic as possible when it comes to servicing my clients. So I hold them to a certain standard. I have to hold myself to the same standard, right? Um, so I always tell people, and this also is self-care, right? Prioritizing our health, our mental health, and our physical health. Prioritizing those things because without those, we burn out and then we have nothing, right? You need your physical health to be strong, to keep working, to keep doing what you do. And you need your mental health because you need your head in the game to run your business, right? So let's get into a few things, a few tips that'll help you keep your health a priority as you conduct and run your business. The first thing I like to tell people to do is get up early, start your day early. Give yourself an extra 30 minutes to an hour to just get your mind right for the day, right? Get your head in the space to where you can just completely clear your mind, get yourself ready for the day. Waking up early gets you into the space that you need to get your ish done, to conduct business, to be successful, to be great, to accomplish your goals and knock out you know tasks with ease. Start your day off with gratitude. Have a journal next to your bed and write down the things that you're grateful for or say them out loud. Um, say your daily affirmations, write down daily affirmations, but post-it notes on your mirrors, or like all around your bathroom or wherever it is that, wherever time in the morning that you spend the most time getting ready for, put your affirmations there. Whether it be on a post-it note or a note card, just put it somewhere that's straight in your face so that you can always look at that and reference and that is like a boost to yourself. Like, I can do this. I got this. I, I'm going to power through. I know what my... And you set clear goals and clear tasks. You know exactly what you're going to do for that day. You knock it out. You set those goals and get it done. This is general, but I feel like it needs to be said because we don't <laughs> prioritize exercise enough in the beauty industry or as our, in our field in general. But exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, whether it's walking, um, jogging, uh, jump rope, riding a bike anything move your body get your body moving for 30 minutes every day a big thing that i'm like uh, i'm a big yoga person so i've been recently dubbed a yogi if you will eh, and i love it there um black girls yoga uh <laughs> anyway um yeah i love yoga yoga is my jam yoga is my thing because as i feel i get older as you know the body tends to do what the body does. Yoga has been a perfect practice for me to get the stretches in that I need to get all to work through the knots and the aches and the pains of the back from sitting all day. The neck, my neck has been going through it, y'all. My neck is like, what are you doing? Why are we, why do you have to look down like this all day, every day? So, oh my gosh. Get your stretches in, get your workouts in, do whatever it you need to do to move your body for at least 30 minutes a day in a consistent, steady pace. Not like, oh, I'm going to you know walk to my car. No, that's not enough time. You need a consistent workout. When we're working, 
especially as beauty professionals, I think this goes across the board, whether you're a nail tech, an esthetician, a uh, hairstylist, hair braid or whatever, we do not eat like we're supposed to, y'all. Pack y'all healthy snacks, please. Pack y'all snacks in general. Not eating is the worst thing you can do for your body. Your body starts running off fumes. Trust me, I know I ran a full service beauty salon and spa. I know what I'm talking about, all right? And I've been there before. I know. It's hard. How do you step away? You book back to back. You double book. You da 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 da. Uh, stop with the excuses. Prioritize your health. Tell them people, wait 10, 15 minutes. Pause on the play. Go get you an apple. Go get you a granola bar. Get your parfait. Get your banana. Eat your freaking snacks. Get your fruits. Keep it handy. Keep the fruits handy, guys. Your nuts, your peanuts, your pecans, your raisins, whatever. Keep your snacks handy. You need fuel. I'm telling you guys this because guess what? In the long run, when you're 10 years down the line, you're wondering why you need XYZ surgery. You have all these pills that you're taking because you're sick. I know this because my mom is very sick as well. And there's a lot of things that she could have did to prevent a lot of the diseases that she has now. And we talk about this all the time. Like I said, I'm going to have my mama on here. It's not like I'm talking about my mama like ish about my mama, but she knows we talk about this. I have a very good relationship with my mother. So when I tell her, I'm like, did you ever stretch? Did you ever move your body? Did you ever? And she's like, no, no, no. I was too busy. I was always behind the chair. Don't do it to yourselves. Don't do it to yourselves. Eat on time. Eat healthy snacks on time and stop and take your lunch break. Schedule out lunch breaks. Stop doing that. No other field do they work like, well, I'm not going to say that because I don't know other fields and how they do. But y'all, we work our butts off too much to not take a break. And we focus on, uh, you know, adding beauty to other people and, and, and enhancing their beauty and making them look and feel good. But we're not doing it to ourselves. We're running ourselves ragged. We're not doing that. We're going to stop doing that. Success will not come from you running yourself ragged. I can guarantee it maybe but you're not gonna you're you're not gonna reap the benefits like you want later on in life when you're sick oh another thing i like this part it goes into more mental health is write everything down write all your ideas down write all the the things you want to do down write your goals down and set daily goals you have a big goal let's say this is your big goal right here what little steps are you going to take work yourself backwards from the big goal Write down the little steps that it's going to take to get you to the big goal here. And put that in your journal, your calendar, your whatever. Every little step, break it down. And then break it down even more into other little steps. What are you going to order? What? How much money do you have to save to get to the goal, right? And then we're going to get into that money, budgeting, and all that into the next episode that I'm going to do when it's talking about how to fund your business, how to get some free money. But we'll get there. Write down exactly the monetary number you need to make every day to reach whatever goal you're trying to reach here at the end. Whether it be a three months, six months, a year, two years down the line, you'll get there. Write down those goals. That's what's going to keep you on track and it's going to hold you accountable. Take, when I say goals, I should reiterate action steps. Action steps every day. So today, I'm going to order this so when this comes in i'm going to be able to set this part of my business up and i can do that. like action steps write down goals that are attainable for the now write down goals that you can take action on now to get to the bigger goal we tell our clients this a lot i feel like practice daily self-care daily self-care daily self-care daily self-care looks like anything that you do that benefits you your mental space, your emotional space, space, your spiritual space, your physical space. Do something for you that is not work-related, something that is not going to make you money. You need something outside of the work. Taking time out of your day every day for 20, 15, 20 minutes a day is necessary to avoiding burnout. Like I said, I'm a yoga girl. Yoga is my jam. I intentionally practice breathing um, and I actually learned that from my therapist and I actually have a specialist coming on to talk to you guys exactly about what self-care and what prioritizing your mental health looks like because for me I can only talk about for me but for other people they're just like well I just 
can't get into it. I just don't understand. Like yoga is not for everybody, right? You just got to find out what it is for you. But at the same time, you still got to move your body. So yoga, for me, it's like I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm getting my self-care and I'm moving my body and I'm not getting stiff and I'm working those cranks in my neck out and my back. Remember, you also cannot do it all. I had to learn this lesson really hard this weekend. I kind of forgot that I am not alone and I cannot do it all by myself. Even having my beauty salon, I did not do it all by myself. I had my mother there to help me take care of my kids and to open up if I was running late. I had a doctor's appointment across town. You know, like I didn't do it all by myself. I had a support system. If you have a support system in this industry, God bless you because that is what has saved me and was able, that helped me get to the point in my career where I am now. You know, like being able to rebuild a whole nother business, right? <laughs> After losing my beauty salon a year ago and now I'm rebuilding a whole nother business. If it wasn't for my husband, my mother, family that believes in me to invest back in me, I wouldn't be here talking to y'all. Cause who, who would I like, I would just have given up. So lean into your support system. You can't do it all. And even if you don't have anybody, find somebody. There are groups out there. That's another thing. Plug real quick. I've created a Facebook group specifically for beauty business professionals to network, to meet, to come together, to assist other beauty professionals because we are all in different parts of our journey, right? If you're starting out, there's a lot of things you don't know or, or, or may not know and you're going to learn later on in your beauty business as you navigate that, like building up your business that someone like me or somebody else, like another guest speaker that I have coming on has already mastered the art of. So you go on there, you ask questions. They are more than willing, more than willing and ready to help you along in your journey and in your process. Okay. There is no such thing as a dumb question. That's another thing. So ask, speak up, find your people, find your village, build a village. Okay. Y'all don't have to be like, you know, all in each other's faces, but at the same time, you can have a group that helps you references for you certain business parts of your business. Okay. Follow it on Facebook, the beauty biz besties with an S because we're besties in there. <laughs> please, please, please. This is something that you have to apply to any part of your life, not even just the business and all parts of your life. Show yourself grace and mercy. Show yourself more grace. Show yourself more grace. The same way you would want, the same way, imagine you have a child, right? They're new to the world. They don't know anything. Are you going to tell them, belittle them? Oh no, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, this, this, and that. Or even, let's say you don't have children and you're new, a new hire, an employee somewhere. Would you want somebody to belittle you and tell you, you didn't do this right. You didn't do this. You, you're like, you're so dumb. You, you're not figuring it out. So treat yourself the same way you would want to treat someone to treat you in that setting. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but that's the way I see it. I'm like, when I start getting hard on myself, I'm like, would I talk to my daughter this way? Would I talk to a new hire this way? No. So why am I talking to myself like this? Like, why am I being so hard on myself? Why do I, like, why am I trying to expect so much of myself when I'm learning things as I go, even like, oh, okay, I get it. I'm learning. Treat yourself nice. Be nice to yourself. Show yourself grace and mercy. That's what grace and mercy is. If you stay consistent in what you're doing, even when the hard times come, do not, please, please, please do not give up. Keep pushing forward. There are people here to help you. I am one of those people. And there are other people that are out here that I am compiling and putting together in this pretty little Facebook group for you guys, to help you guys, to support one another. I wish we had more support in this beauty industry. And this is one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing because we do not help each other. Sometimes it's not even a, a matter of like, you know, setting the business up or putting this, you got all that, but you need support. You need people to talk to live real people that have experienced what you've already experienced and gone through. And just a, a listening ear. You don't even need all like, you know, the the like full mentorship. You just need guidance, right? This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. You need to join the Facebook group because 
um, you need support, right? If you're here, there's a reason why you're here. Come on in. Come on to the other side. Come on to the Facebook. I know some of y'all don't cross cross social medias, but if you're talking about something that can possibly save you thousands of dollars in your business, just being a part of the group, just asking the question and then figuring out that answer, and you're like, wow, I'm glad I didn't make that move. I think it's worth re-downloading that little blue app and getting on there and reactivating your account. Do you not? Okay. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a very short episode today, but I really just wanted to come on here and give you guys a boost of love and a boost of fill your cup and a boost of let you know you can do this. You're already doing it to keep going, to keep pushing forward, to, to don't give up, right? Be consistent. And to let you guys know also... Come on over to that Facebook group because if you're here and you're watching this, you need this information. You need the things that we're, we're talking about here. You need help. You need guidance. You need mentorship. You just need somebody to talk to, to relate to on this. That's not a caddy group, by the way. We do not do all that nonsense over there. This is not about that. This is about pouring into your cup. And I want to see all of us win. We can win. We all can win. You winning has nothing to do with me and my pockets. This episode will include a bonus episode featured later on this week. So we will talk all about self-care, how to take care of yourself, how to prioritize your health in the beauty industry. Stay tuned for that. I'm so excited for y'all to see that. If you like what you're hearing and you like what you see, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that in that order. Love you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.